In this video, we're going to try and evaluate some basic logarithms. For example, in this first example, we've got log base 2 of 64. To help us evaluate the logarithm, we don't know what it equals yet, so let's just say it equals x. And when we're working with logs, if we hit a road bump and we don't know where to go with the log, quite often the strategy is to e to convert it into an exponential problem. We should be able to do that very quickly, because we know the base of the log is the base of the exponential problem. The log equals the exponent, so we have 2 to the x equals 64. We've solved problems like these before, where we get the same base on both sides of the equation. 2 is already prime, so we have 2 to the x power equals 64, if we were to factor it, find the prime factorization. 64 is divisible by 2, 32 times, divisible by 2, 16 times, divisible by 2, 8 times, divisible by 2, 4 times, divisible by 2, 2 times, divisible by 2 once. We have 6 twos, that's 2 to the 6th power. And we know that if we have the same base on both sides, the exponents must be equal. x equals 6, well, x represents the logarithm, so log base 2 of 64 must equal 6. Let's try another example where we do that same thing. We make it equal to x, and then we convert. Log base 125 of 5, let's make that equal x. Well, if we convert 125's the base of the logarithm, it's the base of the exponential, and the logarithm equals the exponent, so to the x power equals 5. Again, we're going to rewrite this with a common base. So let's see, 125 is divisible by 5 25 times, divisible by 5 5 times, divisible by 5 once. We've got 5 to the 3rd power, all that to the x, equals 5. And we can combine the exponents, we know, by multiplying. So we have 5 to the 3x equals 5. Boy, what's the exponent on 5? Well, if nothing's written, we assume the exponent is 1. So, if the bases are equal, so must the exponents be. 3x equals 1, and we quickly solve for x by dividing by 3. x equals 1 third. Rewrite the log as an exponent. Let's try one more example where we do exactly that. We have log base 3 of 1 over 27. We're going to make that also equal to x, or the solution. So we can rewrite it as an exponential problem where 3 is the base of the log, 3 is the base of the exponential. The log equals the exponent, so the exponent must be x equals 1 over 27. If we can get the same base on both sides, we've got our solution. Well, 27, 3 is prime, we can't do anything with it. But 27 is divisible by 3 9 times, which is divisible by 3 3 times, which is divisible by 3 once. 27 is 3 to the 3rd power, but because it's a fraction, what type of exponent creates a fraction? A negative exponent. 3 to the negative 3 is 1 over 27. And 3 to the x, we said it was prime, we couldn't do anything with it. But again, we've got the same base on both sides, so the exponents must be equal. x must equal negative 3. And because we said x was equal to the logarithm, we know that log base 3 of 1 over 27 equals negative 3. To evaluate a logarithm, it's a very simple pattern. We make it equal to x, so that we can convert it into an exponential equation. We can solve those exponential equations if we can get the same base on both sides. Same base means the exponents must be equal.